Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Virgo for mid-December 2019. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. My name is Dee. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and healer. And um, in this message, in this video, you're going to get the messages from Spirit. And I do have my monthly videos up that give you the messages from Spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. So you can check that out if this is your first time here. All right, um, I also am offering a free three-day challenge um, to stop the self-sabotage. The new year is coming in, and I know a lot of us are going to be making New Year's resolutions and setting goals for ourselves, and I wanted to do a little challenge to teach you how to not sabotage yourself, okay? Um, there's a video on here about why we sabotage ourselves, so you could check that out as well. But if you want to join the free three-day challenge, it is in the description box below as well as the comments, okay? All right, and make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get when I post new videos every single week. All right, so the overall energy here is the Ace of Cups, so something new. There's definitely a new beginning here for you guys. Um, you feel as though you need to move forward. You feel as though you need to move on. You have the Knight of Pentacles, so the overall energy, just new beginning of love, too. It's about love here with the Cups. And again, remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't, and you can check out your Moon and Rising signs. But you've got the Knight of Pentacles, you've got the Five of Cups, and you also have the Four of Pentacles. So there's a lot, I feel as though there's just a lot, you've got, you got three Knights in this reading, guys. It's time to move. It's time to move forward. It's time to take action. It's time to do something here at the end of December. That Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night, so things might feel like they're moving slowly. And you might be looking at the things that are spilled, the things that are not working, the things that um, are draining you, right? Making you miserable instead of the ones that are right in front of you, right? He's got these two cups in his hands, but he's looking down here at everything that's spilled. Okay, yeah, some things spill. Some things don't work out. Some things, you know, just don't. But it's important to look at what's in front of you, what's in your future. You also have the four of pentacles here, which is a lack of trust. So, you know, there's either something or someone around you that you're not trusting fully and spirit's asking you right now to really look at the positive side of what's happening in your life rather than the negative. All right, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, I really feel what's happening with the Fool card is that you are being pushed. You're being pushed out of this new beginning of taking this leap of faith with something, um, I'm which is really weird. I'm being drawn to, it looks like the moon here. I'm not sure if it is, but it looks like the moon. You got the sun up here and the moon down here. And I just feel as though, you know, you're being pushed into this. It's like, they're like, come on now, come on, go, 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 go. And they're literally saying like, they're screaming at you. So let me know if you're feeling that intuition is like, come on, let's do this. Like, come on. And you're like, no, no, I don't want to. I'm kind of scared, you know? And that's kind of like how I feel what's happening here is that look it's all going towards the new beginning all of the knights here are just it's just pushing towards jumping off this hill taking the leap of faith doing what you feel is right here all right so whew, that energy is strong it's coming in very very strong with those knights release something you're needing to release here you've got you know a lot of action with two beginning cards and with the Five of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, you're not trusting it. You're not, um, you don't see the good in it. You you feel, or you're not focusing on the good of anything going around you at this point. Forgiveness. Uh, let's see what else. Renewal. That renewal card has come out a lot. All right. So you've got the release. So you need to release something. There's graves all around them, okay? You feel like you're in a dungeon. You feel like you're trapped in some way. And it's like, look at the two different cards here. You've got the release and you've got the fool. Look at how beautiful the fool is. It's like, yes, like, let's just do this. I don't even care if I fall to the ground. It's like, I'm just taking this leap of faith and I'm going with it. And then over here, they're like, oh my God, I'm in a cemetery. I don't know what to do. But it's a lot of negative energy. So you want to move it over to this positivity, taking that first step, forgiveness and renewal. So forgive yourself for things not working out. Forgive other people for not working out. Forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't know at the time that it happened. And with that renewal card there, really just focus on rejuvenating yourself, reinventing yourself, finding yourself again, 
We do have, um, I haven't really mentioned this to anybody, but I'm going to put it on here for some reason. They're telling me to. Um, I am doing a retreat in Costa Rica, I'm accompanying uh, Stephanie, Stephanie McPhail, who is from Being Loved Shouldn't Hurt. So if you're interested in spending the week with us in Costa Rica, doing a lot of healing, a lot of uh, getting out of your comfort zone, that is um, on the table. You can reach out to me at um, deedsdivineguidance at gmail.com if you're interested in that kind of thing. You can also join my Facebook group. It's there as well. Okay. Um, parenting and children. So make sure that you're spending time with your kids. Make sure that you're spending time with your parents. They're also telling me here at this time that there might be some healing that needs to happen between your parents, not between, but um, with inside of yourself because of your parents, all right? A lot of the trauma that we deal with, a lot of the boundaries that we don't set is because of the things that we've been through with our parents, what we weren't taught uh, growing up. Creative expression, so get creative. I think you're enjoying this right now. You're putting yourself out there, uh, really trying to dabble in what you like to do right? That fool card, that creative expression. It might be something creative for you. It might be something that you just love doing that's been a hobby for so long and now you're going to be taking it to like making a business from it, okay? And also making new friends. So it's just time to put yourself out there. It's time to get the good energy coming into you. Really let go of what no longer serves you and really just step into that happiness. Step into letting everything else just fall away and just being happy. Happiness is something learned, Okay, if you were through trauma in the past, if you've been through stuff like it, it happiness disappears. It's like you've got to get it back. You've got to learn how to be happy every single day, regardless of what is happening around you in your life. Okay. All right. So I hope that reading resonates with you. You can give me a thumbs up on the video if it does. And let me know comments below how it does resonate with you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you, every single one of you for being here and supporting me through my journey here on YouTube and watching these tarot reads. I really do truly appreciate it. Um, I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays, and a wonderful, wonderful New Year. Make sure you um, click down below for the challenge and hopefully I'll see you on January 6th. Much love to all of you. I will talk to you soon. Bye.